Hey everybody, it's Kyle from Growing Up Gardens. Today I'm going to do an update video on my raised bed with the five different soil mixes in it. And the plants have been growing for five weeks now. So we're going to head over to the section that has all the products in it. So this first section is just has uh, compost from the Solano County dump. Um, some compost that I make here um, has my soil mix that I've been growing in for the past three years. And then it also has all these products. It's got the Boogie Brew Pro compost tea, the Pure Protein, the Organic Solutions Worm Castings, the Boogie Bricks, Foundation Mycorrhiza, C90, Boogie Frass, Boogie Base. It's got a lot of Boogie Base in it. Got the Nature's Pride. And it's got the Gaia Green Glacial Rock Dust and the Azomite Rock Dust. <coughs> I mean, yeah, and so all the plants are looking great. Um, it's got a fairly large tomato. It's, it's bigger than the rest. I put a string up so you can see the difference compared to the others. Kind of hard to see through the sunflowers, but yeah, the tomato. It's got a nice sized tomato. The Roma tomato is really nice and bushy. Um, it's got Romas on it already. Um, fairly good sized Romas. Uh, the early girl. Let's see if I can get a picture of it. It's got some nice tomatoes on it. Uh, the zucchini in the center has a little zucchini started. This is actually supposed to be a crookneck squash, like the rest, but. Um, something happened and I ended up getting a zucchini so I will have to do for the test um, peppers are doing great they're loaded with peppers nice nice canopies on the plants leaves look pretty good um, sunflowers they're not looking as good as I'd hope and I don't think it's because of the products I think it's because of um, my watering schedule I think that they maybe it's been pretty hot and they haven't been getting enough water and the leaves kind of got a little crispy on mo all of them, I think. Yeah, they're all like that. Um, they did grow quite a bit from last week. You guys can check down, uh, check my past episode and see what they looked like last week. Um, I'll put a link in the description below of all the update videos. So, we'll move to the next one. Now, this section has uh, compost from the Solano County dump. And it has the Boogie Brew Pro compost tea and the pure proteins I've been using on this section. And everything's looking pretty good. It's like last week, um, minus the leaf burn. I think it must be leaf burn or something. Or it could be leaf miners. I don't know. If you guys know what this is, uh, let me know and uh, leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, it's loaded with pepper plant. It's loaded with peppers. got a lot of flowers. Uh, the crooknecks, uh, just starting to get a crookneck squash on it, a little baby squash. Um, let's head back to the tomatoes. Uh, it's loaded with early girl tomatoes, a lot of them on it, on this one. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty good sized tomato. It's the second biggest tomato I've got. Um, the Roma, I think it had a couple Romas on it. I can't really tell, it's hard to tell on here from here, but um, Got a lot of flowers on that Roma. So everything's looking great in this section. So we'll move on to the next section. Now this is my soil mix that I've been growing in for about three years now, two, three years. And I'm, I've been using the uh, Azomite rock dust and the Gaia Green Glacial. And it's uh, the base of it is the compost from the Sano County dump and compost that I make here at my house from all my food scraps. And, uh, yeah, definitely something's uh, working out for the sunflower because it it likes the soil mix, I guess. And uh, so that's growing really good, except for the leaf bird or something. <laughs> so let's see. We've got the weeds really like this soil mix. <laughs> got some nice peppers on it. The peppers aren't as tall as the other pepper plants, but pretty close. Um, Let's see, we got we got a little crook neck started down there. I don't think we have any tomatoes. You have any tomatoes? I don't see any tomatoes on this guy yet. Got some flowers though. No tomatoes. Oh, there's one tomato. One nice little tomato on that guy. Um, there's a couple little romas started. I hope you guys can see that on the camera. It's pretty hot. It's over 100 degrees here right now. Um, 
Everything's looking fairly good. We'll pan over to the next. Now this is just straight compost from the dump. I haven't been spraying anything on this. Uh, this sunflower looks pretty healthy. It's not as big as the others, um, but it, uh, the leaves look pretty good. They're getting a little bit of that same thing on the leaves where the leaves are getting kind of burned on the tips. I don't know if they're getting enough water. I don't know. I need to research that a little more. Um, the crook neck isn't as big as the rest, but it's definitely going to have a lot of flowers on it pretty soon. Um, tomato. Got any tomatoes on this guy? I don't see any tomatoes on this yet. Um, on the Roma. The Roma is get, it's pretty big actually in size. Um, this guy here this is an early girl. It's got one little tomato. But it's pretty big in size actually. It's it's comparable to the others. I'll pan out so you can see. I'll go to the final section. Uh, this is just this, uh, straight dirt from my yard. Uh, haven't done anything to it. it grows weeds really good. <laughs> uh, the plants aren't doing very good. Their growth is stunted, I would say, because of, there's not very much uh, organic matter in the soil. Um, I do have some peppers growing on it, but, but the plants themselves are puny compared to the rest. Not even growing, really. Uh, the early girl has a couple tomatoes. Um, Roma has a little tiny one, but it, look at the difference. I mean, you guys can see with your own eyes. You need to use a nice, a good compost, um, some good uh, soil amendments, and you guys will get way better results growing. So, that's my little update video. Uh, you guys can see I'm in the middle of building a trellis to hold up my tomato plants because they're just getting out of control big. So. I'll put a link in the description down below uh, of me building. I'll show you guys how I build the trellis. And um, stay tuned for that. And I want to thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe for more update videos like this. And we will see you guys next time.